Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield recently walked the stage to accept this morning's prize for outstanding daytime program at the prestigious Television and Radio Industries Club Awards. This was just a year ago. But today was a completely different story for the show, as well as for Ms. Willoughby and Mr. Schofield, when it was defeated by Channel 4SA Place in the Sun. After Schofield admitting having an affair with a much younger runner and then lying about it, this morning received harsh criticism. Schofield also won the award in 2021 and 2020. Ms. Willoughby, 42, declined to attend the ceremony, which was held at London's Grosvenor House Hotel, citing other commitments she had made before receiving the invitation to Today's Awards. As a result, she missed the opportunity to reunite with her former co-worker Eamon Hounds, who had disparaged her in an interview on GB News earlier this month. The presenter spent the weekend in Glastonbury with her husband Dan Baldwin, who was present at the ceremony, and is said to have parties for 12 hours straight. Along with Dermot O'Leary, Alison Hammond and Craig Doyle, the show's other primary presenters, Martin Frizzle, who has come under scrutiny, was absent from the occasion. The scandal-tainted head of daytime at ITV, Emma Gormley, was not present. After having a hip operation, Hounds, 63, came on the red carpet with two crutches. ITV Insider, if you were Holly, you wouldn't have gone, would you? You would have had to endure the humiliation of falling short of a place in the sun in addition to coming face to face with Eamon compared to this time last year, when Holly and Phil showed there with large smiles on their faces and were the talk of the party, everything was completely different. A Place in the Sun received the prize from Ellie Simmons, who disclosed she had been adopted at infancy. Roman Kemp, the son of Martin Kemp, was among the other winners. When he received the Radio Personality of the Year award, he exclaimed to the audience, Nepotism works. After Life by Ricky Gervais won Best Streamer over Bridgerton, The Crown, and White Lotus. For his programme for the love of dogs, Paul O'Grady got a posthumous award for Best Factual and a Touching Homage. While Bake Off won Best Food, The Chase won Game Show of the Year. The Queen's Funeral received Best Live Event, and Peaky Blinders took home Best Drama. Goggle Box defeated Strictly Come Dancing and I'm a Celebrity to win Best Entertainment, while GB News Breakfast won Best Multi-Channel News. It was revealed earlier today that Holly Willoughby lost her voice as a result of drinking at Glastonbury Festival. The 42-year-old presenter, who spent the weekend at Worthy Farm with pals, raised questions when it was revealed she had skipped Mondays this morning, forcing Josie Gibson to fill in. Holly may have had a day to rest, but by the time she returned to the programme, her croaky voice had co-host Craig Doyle concerned. Is that a summer cold, he inquired. Allergies, pollen, I've been officially glassed Holly joked. This voice is just that. I genuinely blame Elton John for this since, did you see him on stage? It's always my first thing to go. One of the nicest parts, it was simply awesome. The entire weekend was amazing, but to conclude on this particular occasion, I sang my heart out and now I sound like this. However, I just had the finest weekend of my life. Holly posted pictures from her Tuesday trip to Glastonbury on Instagram earlier in the day to provide a preview of her experience there.
In one photo, she was seen standing with a friend wearing a white broderie anglaise dress and a cowboy hat as the sun set behind her. In another, she was seen gazing out at the stage while her husband, Dan Baldwin, gave her a rare PDA. Holly, who was at the event and missed Mondays this morning, allegedly had a wild 12-hour night out at Glastonbury on Friday, when the Arctic Monkeys performed. According to The Sun, she partied and danced till the wee hours of the morning with people including Princess Eugenie, Peter Crouch, Jamie Dornin, and Lily James. Since Holly was travelling after the event, Craig Doyle and Josie Gibson stood in for her on Mondays this morning. She will be back for the programme on Tuesday. Along with Dan, the celebrity was seen flying into the much-awaited festival. It was her first significant public appearance since Philip left ITV after admitting his affair with a much younger male co-worker on this morning. As Holly put her problems behind her and danced the night away, Holly was captured on camera enjoying the time of her life. Holly was happy and joking with her companions as soon as she landed, a source told the son about her day at the event, despite having access to the VIP Winnebago camping area, Holly was eager to mix it up with the throng. According to reports, Holly attended the Arctic Monkeys concert in the stands with football player Peter Crouch and his wife Abby Clancy. Prior to partying till two in the morning at the rabbit hole with people including actress Lily and Irish star Jamie, the presenter is rumoured to have mingled in the VIP section. She was having a blast and dancing non-stop, the spectator said. Holly was happier than ever, and it was obvious that the tension of the previous several months had dissipated. Her former co-host Philip, 61, left ITV and was fired by his agency YMU after confessing to unwise, but not criminal romance with a younger male co-worker. Holly has ignored the controversy surrounding Philip's departure since joining this morning again on June 5 and has introduced a rotating cast of co-hosts. Years passed before Philip finally acknowledged to the Mail on Sunday that he had lied about the tryst being simply a story. He continued by admitting that he had lied to his thenagents at the management company YMU, his employer ITV, his co-workers, and his friends. Then, in a remarkable succession of me culpers, he expressed regret for all the pain he had caused. Holly was forced to write a statement denying any knowledge of it, which had a remarkable cascading impact on the show and ITV. Although they initially met when he was 15 years old, Philip said he had not groomed the man. Attraction is attraction, he said. There is no distinction between the LGBT community and the heterosexual or lesbian communities. There should be no distinction. Homophobia enters the scene at this point. When he was 15, I went to the theatre school he attended, and that is when we actually first met. So there is a difference, yes. Leonardo DiCaprio accepts it. Nevertheless, the LGBT community does not. Leo, a 48-year-old Titanic star, apparently had multiple romances with younger women. However, fans at Glastonbury on Friday night couldn't help but take advantage of the chance to make fun of Schofield when his former co-star Holly Willoughby entered the VIP bar. During the 90-minute headlining performance by the Arctic Monkeys on Friday night at Worthy Farm, Somerset, festival attendees again made fun of the former ITV star. Holly Willoughby, 
His former co-star and close friend was photographed hitting the VIP bar after arriving at the event by helicopter, showing that she was still living the luxurious celebrity lifestyle. Schofield admitted to the affair in his first newspaper interview with The Sun, and the mirror caught several of the audience blowing on their lost Mary vapes while reading the story. Philip Schofield says he's vaping so much his hands are blistered, the caption said, making fun of the interviewer's interviewee's disheveled look. According to The Sun, Schofield displayed his collection of blisters and calluses during the interview. I've been vaping a lot, he said. I've been sitting looking up at the sky or out the window, just staring into space, and I didn't know it until it started to ache. I only sit on the couch and gaze. I've burnt both of my hands as a result of doing that. Holly Willoughby was photographed taking in the celebrations while Schofield was being viciously ridiculed by the crowd. She and her husband Dan Baldwin travelled to the West Country by helicopter before stopping at the VIP Butts pub while dressed in stylish festival attire. Earlier on Friday, Philip was seen by a bystander in Cornwall carrying a plastic shopping bag and seemed to be very tired.